In the modern workplace, uh, there are so many remote workers now, so video meetings and conferences are the norm, and so many of these recordings, we need accurate transcriptions of what's being said. So, uh, Natalie, you've been researching here a new app that uh, is positioning itself as a transcription app for the enterprise. Talk about that for us. It's from a company called AI Sense, mm -hmm. um, and they um, launched a free version of their transcription app last year. It's called Otter AI. Um, so Otter uses machine learning and AI to um, process voice recordings or video recordings and turn out accurate transcriptions that can identify speakers, come up with keywords, and allow for keyword searching. Mm -hmm. um, so they um, just this week launched a um, team version called Otter for Teams. In addition to these core services on the free app, this brings um, additional features sort of catered to the enterprise. Um, a lot of admin features for um, account provisioning and reporting um, and a lot more robust security features. Okay, and there's, you know, obviously a lot of sensitive information discussions that are going on um, during these recordings. So how does the company approach uh, actual data ownership? Right, so the company is very outspoken on their position of data ownership and privacy. The CEO contends very firmly that they own, um, that the customer owns the data and that they will never access it except to process the, the transcription mm -hmm. or for some troubleshooting. Um, and in terms of security, um, they're trying to, um, you know, bulk up. They're doing single sign-on. They're working with a third-party um, platform for 24/7 monitoring for any threats. Um, so they're really trying to add more more services that will, um, you know, give enterprises peace of mind if they're going to, you know, plug this into any of their workflows that, um, you know, that it's not going to open them up to some sort of vulnerability. Yeah, and and um, in terms of you know working in collaboration with or in conjunction with other workplace software, is that a possibility? Yes, so um, um, Otter has their, their key integration is with Zoom. And you know, obviously we do a lot of that around here, Zoom meetings. Um, they also plug into Slack, they have ties to Google, Microsoft. Um, so they really do want to position as you know a companion app mm -hmm. in the enterprise. And um, you know the service, when I interviewed the CEO um, through a Zoom meeting, he pulled up the app and you know the, the transcription was remarkably accurate for um, you know, for how hard this technology is to pull off, um, it, it was pretty seamless. So it was pretty cool. You were able to see that in real time yes. and what that would look like. So we do, we do a lot of Zoom interviews around here. Yes. <laughs> so you can definitely see where this will fit in, um, you know, especially as, you know, like you were saying, this remote workforce, there's just going to be mm -hmm. a lot more instances where um, an app like this will come, in, come into handy. Yeah, most definitely. All right, very interesting. Natalie, thank you for that. And for more on Natalie's article, of course, be sure you check out ZDNet. Thank you.